News of the world's first malaria vaccine has been received with optimism across the globe. Going by the trade name Moscorix, the drug comes as a milestone in the war against a deadly malaria disease. Kenyan researchers were involved in the long-running research and development process of this vaccine. Our health reporter Sharon Momani had a chat with some of them and reports on why this development is important for Kenya. Every 60 seconds, a child dies of malaria, and in sub-Saharan Africa, children below the age of five years have become the face of the deadly disease. Get this, 30 million babies are born in the region every year. Out of this, half a million will die of malaria. It is a damning reality that has driven 30 years of research into finding a vaccine for the disease. It's very difficult to to develop a vaccine against a parasite, and specifically, in this case, malaria. That has been challenging because of the life cycle of the parasite, so it's, it's very complex. It has many different stages. An experimental vaccine, RTSS, developed by the drugs firm GlaxoSmithKline, has for the last five years been undergoing trials across seven African countries. And on 24th of July, the vaccine, which goes by the market name Moscrix, got a green light from European drugs regulators. A groundbreaking moment, not just for malaria researchers, but also for the entire medical field. This is the world's first vaccine against any parasite. It's not just the world's first vaccine against malaria. It's never been done before, and as, as recently as 10 years ago, uh, well-informed scientific opinion would say that this was an impossible mission. In Kenya, the final trials were conducted in Kilifi, Kombewa and Siaya areas, which are high malaria prevalence regions. The trials involved 4,155 children. If you're going out to recruit thousands and thousands of children, uh, it is not that easy. And, and of course, there's always the initial resistance by you know people saying no my child will not participate in this and although we gave every child three doses of uh, the vaccine one month apart and then after 20 months some of them got with what we call a booster dose and then we followed them over a period of three to four years depending on when they were recruited Results show that the vaccine is around 30% effective, and while more work is ongoing to have a drug with higher efficacy, the milestone cannot be overstated. If we are calling it a first generation vaccine, so the next step is people are still doing research. There's plans to improve this vaccine, improve the efficacy, and that's ongoing trials. The World Health Organization will decide whether to recommend the vaccine by the end of the year. It will then be up to individual governments to decide whether to buy it. Moscurix may not be the last answer to malaria. In fact, it has to be used alongside other measures including mosquito nets. But put face to the damning statistics of malaria deaths in sub-Saharan Africa. And what's for sure is that this drug will have significant impact on millions of people in the region. Sharon Momani, KTN News, Nairobi.